friends welcome to my channel once again today I want us to talk about uh, the types of abacus the most common form of abacus that is around today is this one which I have in my hand right here this is popularly known as the soroban in fact this is the most recent version in which the abacus exists this was developed by the Japanese. We will come back to talk more about this. We also have another kind of abacus. This one, this is the one that most people know. This one has 10 beads in each row. It's known as the Russian Scotty. Uh, this was developed by the Russians and uh, it has been around for quite a long time. We are not going to talk so much about this because all that we have to do in this channel all that we have to do in the learning of abacus mental arithmetic revolves around the use of the sorrow band all right now for those of us who are crazy about knowledge those of us who are very inquisitive who like to know things i'm sure you must have come across another kind of abacus uh, similar to the sorrow band but this time around in the upper part of it it has two beads and in the lower part it has five beads uh, that one is known as the Chinese Swampan. It was developed by the Chinese. Uh, you know, different civilizations, just like we said in the last video, they have their own history. They have their own little history that has to do with the origin and the use of the abacus. Alright. Having said this much about the abacus, it will be right, it will be good at this time for us to delve into the topic at hand you know i've dedicated this channel to teaching us about abacus mental arithmetic so let's talk about the three terms that make up the concept let's talk about the abacus i've already said that already in the last video however let's do a little recap the abacus is a handheld device that is rectangular in shape it's made of either wood, it could also be made of plastic. It has beads, each bead sliding along its own column. And it is used for performing calculations as well as counting. Alright, we talked about the history of the abacus. We said that there is no generally accepted uh, uh, agreement or consensus you know concerning the history and the origin of the abacus the ancient babylonians they used it uh, even the europeans the russians the greeks they made use of it the roman empire you know archaeological evidence shows that the abacus was used in all these areas the indians as well as the chinese so there is no known particular person we can say that this is the person who uh, invented the abacus all right we said the abacus uh, you know was invented is speculated to have been invented between the years 2700 bc to 300 bc all right now we've said that about the abacus now what does it mean when the word when you hear the word mental what comes to your mind mental has to do with the mind mental is related to the brain so anything you do mentally is something that you use your mind you use your brain in order to do all right so we've talked about the abacus we've talked about mental what it what the word mental means now let's look at arithmetic what is arithmetic now it is very common to see people you know they interchange the words arithmetic and mathematics but i would like to bring some level of clarity to that there is a whole lot of difference between mathematics and arithmetic. In fact, arithmetic is just a little portion, a little subset. Let me speak mathematically in mathematical terms. is a subset of the whole, the universal set, which is mathematics. Now, there are various, math is a very a large, you know, a very deep and wide uh, body of knowledge. And there are different branches in mathematics to mention a few we have algebra algebra is part of mathematics calculus is another branch of mathematics statistics probability statistics where you deal with things like mean mode median 
the standard deviation and all that probability these are branches of mathematics we have trigonometry we also have a, a geometry just to mention a few arithmetic is also a branch of mathematics so if we really want to be specific if we really want to be accurate you know in the use of words it would be wrong to use uh, the word arithmetic instead of uh, mathematics however it has become a trend so let's just flow with the trend but it's good that you have this knowledge so what then is arithmetic arithmetic the word itself is derived from a greek word arithmos a-r-i-t-h-m-o-s arithmos means numbers arithmetic therefore is that branch of mathematics that deals with the science the computation of numbers especially its four basic properties that of addition subtraction division and multiplication so that is what arithmetic is under that body of knowledge or that branch of mathematics arithmetic you will deal with numbers addition and subtraction you will deal with decimals you will deal with fractions you understand and a few other topics like that what then is abacus mental arithmetic what do we mean when we bring those three terms together abacus mental arithmetic what do we mean by that abacus mental arithmetic is a system of calculation in which learners are taught how to perform simple arithmetic calculations with the use of a virtual abacus imprinted in their minds and with that they are able to perform calculations at speeds that will dazzle the human mind and with also a lot of degree of accuracy one of the questions that we normally receive from parents of the many children that we have trained over the years is this they ask and they say mr okay why do we have to pay in order for our kids to learn abacus mental arithmetic the mathematics they are doing in school is it not enough even at their junior when they started out in kindergarten they did their numeracy and all that so why do we have to pay in order for these children to learn this i'm going to answer that question in this video now it's important for us to know that the education that we received from the west our colonial masters in the case of nigeria is britain the kind of education that was bequeathed or handed over to us was only packaged and delivered to us with the sole intention of being able to raise a workforce that will complement their actions, that will complement or that will facilitate the industrial revolution that was going on in Europe, back home in Europe then, as at that time. It's not as if that was exactly what we needed. Now, there is something about man. Any man you know, who is right thinking, after doing a thing for a certain period of time, would always want to sit back and evaluate this thing I have done. Is it really paying me? Is it worth all the effort and time that is being put into it? It's important to know that after some time, some people sat back and then they, they weighed the pros and the cons. And they now discovered that Western education, as it was handed over to us, has certain flaws. All right. An experiment was carried out many years ago where a set of children, they were observed over a period of two, three years while they were in their early schooling years in the kindergarten. And then this same set of children, many, many years later, after they had graduated from college, they were also subjected to another experiment. And then there was comparison made it was discovered that this set of children they were more creative when they were at their tender stage than after they had left college that is to say the kind of education that was given to us by the west has certain flaws a popular american psychobiologist by the name of dr rogers dr rogers perry also 
came up, he did an experiment sometime in the 60s, I think that was 66 or thereabout, 1966 or thereabout, and then uh, the results of that experiment, he did that experiment on the human brain, it forms a whole lot of uh, the body of knowledge, things we know about the human brain today. It was Dr. Roger Sperry's experiment that found out that the human brain is not just one whole piece of uh, tissue, but rather that it was divided into two and that there is a left uh, brain uh, side and then there's also a right hand side of the brain. Now, this experiment, when it was carried out, Dr. Roger Sperry found out that the human brain, the left and the right sides, they perform some important key functions. Take for instance, the left side of the brain, it was discovered, among all other things, all things it does, it was discovered that the left side of the brain is in charge of right motor skills, right hand side motor skills of the human body. Let me explain what I mean by that. All the movements you make in your right arm, your left uh, leg, I mean your right arm, your right leg, the right side of your body, any physical motion you can make is controlled from the left side of your brain and vice versa. Any kind of motion you're able to make on the left side of your body, whether your legs or your hands, is controlled from the right side of the brain. Now, it was discovered that the left side of the brain is where is the seat of uh, 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 analysis, logical thinking. It was also discovered that the left side of the brain is the place where numbers are processed. All right. The right-hand side of the brain was discovered that the right hand side of the brain is the place that is responsible for processing colors. So that you're able to appreciate colors, that you're able to distinguish one color from the other, that is a right brain function. It was also discovered that the right side of the brain uh, is responsible for processing of sounds. It was also discovered that the right side of the brain is the seat of intuitive knowledge intuition for an adult who has taken time to study himself there are sometimes you want to do a thing and something in you just tells you don't do it you know and after some time you didn't do that thing, you find out that something went wrong to those who did that thing that is intuition now there is one critical function that the right brain does it's called creative thinking it is handled by the right hand side of the brain now, it was discovered from all these experiments that Western education focuses more on the left side of the brain, developing the left side of the brain, than the right side. Abacus mental arithmetic was therefore invented, was therefore uh, 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 made, made up in order to bridge that imbalance, in order to correct that imbalance in the development of of the human brain and that's the reason why we say that the whole essence of abacus mental arithmetic is whole brain development that is to say to bring both parts of the human brain up to par to create the total man the man who is able to think outside of the box the man who is able to come up with wonderful ideas that can turn out to great economic opportunities tomorrow I would like you to sit back, relax. We're going to talk about the benefits. We're going to break it down, the benefits of this program. But before then, if you like the kind of content that you are getting on this channel, I would want to ask you to do us a favor. Kindly like, share, and subscribe. We also have a YouTube channel. Head on over to YouTube, do the same, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a nice day.